Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like right now it's the calm before the storm because we have a lot of people coming over today for different things. We have started construction on our deck outside this week. <clears throat> and first of all, I've had this little cough. The kids haven't had anything. It was so weird, I thought it was just allergies. And it's just this cough that gets kind of worse at night. My voice is super scratchy. Uh, so they started construction outside. They are digging the footings for the columns or pillars, whatever you want to call it. And it's very exciting. We also have Andrew's aunt coming over today. She is just really good in landscaping. And so I was chatting with her on Easter at Andrew's parents' house. And I was like, you should come over. Or no, she offered. She was like, I can come over and just like look around your yard and just give you ideas. Wow, you're sweaty. What are you filming? <laughs> Video. <laughs> Hi, I am Sweetie. And today's video is sponsored by Nutrail. This is this keto granola that I've been eating pretty much every single morning or not even just mornings. I like to take it as a snack on the go. So there's five grams of protein, 16 healthy fats, zero added sugar, gluten-free, grain-free, and GMO-free. The nice thing about this, there's like no oats in here. And when I did my gut reset, oats was kind of the last thing to incorporate. And I realized that even if oats are, or granola is gluten-free, it still can bloat me because if you think about it, as you put water in oats, they're going to expand. And so I just find myself trying to stay away from a lot of oats because it just makes me feel pretty bloated afterwards. So it's nice to have a granola that doesn't have that in here, but it still tastes like I'm eating granola and it has that crunch. So it's really good. This is the blueberry cinnamon kind. So sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut chips, almonds, pecans. If you guys have, eat like a keto diet, then this would all be helpful for you. This morning I'm gonna have some with some of my almond milk and beer on the dojo. I love taking it in this. I love these for the kids for snacks. And I love the silicone top, but I just pour some of the granola in here and I just have a little snack bowl with me on the go if we're rushed. Here it is in the milk. So I'm gonna link this down below for you guys if you wanna check this out, if you're looking for a good gluten-free or low carb, low carb keto option, I'll have this in the info section for you guys. It's so tasty and it just fills me up for a very long time. And I just got a discount code for you all for 15% off your order. So the code is Kendra15 and Kendra is all caps. I'll put that down below for you guys along with a link. So I'm gonna pour myself some coffee. I am trying to eat before I drink my coffee now. I'm trying to fill my body with food before I drink caffeine and it's honestly it made me feel so much better let me know what you guys do in the comments let me know what you do for breakfast like first thing in the morning uh what do you eat what do you drink i would love to know down below look at these that, cool? that is deep that's where our footings are gonna go what if i just drop my camera down you can't even really see how deep oh there Ooh. i mean it's got to be over six feet you can drop the camera get down there i need to be careful Oh. Don't drop it down there and you will have one. I know, and hey, don't fall on there. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he just rode on that with his scooter. He did? I did break. <clears throat> the workers are pretty hard workers, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Would you want to do that one day? Yeah. And dig? Yeah. Hey, should we show everyone the golf cart? Okay. Andrew bought a, a golf cart last night. <laughs> we got a project car, me and Owen. Here's our golf cart. I was going to so I've been looking for a golf cart, an offer up, or a dump for so long. I found this one for 150 bucks. Can I sit it? Just a regular friend. You can sit on it. I'll sit it. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to take everything off, like all the plastic, everything, get it down to the metal. This can get on. Then I'm going to wire brush the metal, and then spray paint the steel black. But then from there, I've already got my inverter, 48 volt inverter, and a. Uh, a motor over here as well. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then Kendra said she wanted to paint it like green. <clears throat> Wouldn't green be cool? I just want to learn how to do this. <laughs> so I'm going to refurbish it, build it, and I'll probably just sell this one once I get it working. But we can cruise around the neighborhood, we can do anything. Alright, let's go tight. Violet? 
are you? Oh, you look beautiful. Wow. You guys can start in your handwriting. I print out the two sheets of oh! Did it break? Oh man, I need to get a sharpener. A better sharpener than our little tiny one. In the morning, I've been reading them some books. This one is The Boy Who Loved Bugs. This is a new one I have to read. The Snail and the Whale. And then we have like two chapters left of Alice in Wonderland, so I wanna finish that too. And once we're done reading, we move on to our math book. No, Ariel. And, oh yeah, and Ariel. Um, in here, in our reading. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden thing in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden okay, we just got back from running a bunch of errands I went to Primal Yoga here I'm going to show you the deodorant that I get this is what I've been using and I got Andrew one too, it's really great they have a couple different types I like the charcoal though because it's detox oh, detoxifying. And then I ran out of my clarifying mist, so I decided to try the plumping mist this time. Okay, so everybody is having a little quiet time right now. We're still doing quiet time. Owen has not been napping as consistently. Sometimes he'll be down for like just in his room for a little bit and then he'll come out because he wants to play with the girls. Um, but when he does fall asleep, he's out for two hours. The girls just kind of play quietly in their rooms for a little bit. I just like them to have a little bit of solo time during the day because Owen's out right now. They're with each other, you know, 24 seven. What are you doing, bud? You have to go potty? Oh, it's our first time. He's trying to take a nap without a diaper because he does not want to wear a pull up. Okay, we can do it. Let's do it. So it's kind of just a process now putting him down because he just wants to be awake and he has extreme FOMO of anything going on. I also wanted to share some new books that I have been reading and just really enjoying. I'm just on such a quest now to read more books and to learn more. After starting homeschooling through podcasts I've listened to and books that I've been reading, you know, it's like the mom ends up learning probably more than the kids because you're learning just right alongside them. And that is just so cool for me. And I'm very excited for this whole homeschool journey. Wild and Free is a great one to start with. It really just took any ease or any stress I had about homeschool and eased my mind. Gave me just so much inspiration. So love Wild and Free. The book is amazing. Read the book and then listen to the podcast. This is a book I just started reading called, I'm actually more than halfway done with it. It's called For the Child, The Children's Sake. And a lot of people recommend this because it talks about Charlotte Mason. Charlotte Mason is one of the kind of methods of homeschool. Very big on living books and like a rich education. So you have a short time of book work and like actual like academic type of work, if you call it that, in the morning when your kids are most alert, which is actually what we do. I was telling Andrew, like a lot of things I say in here, we've just kind of taken to naturally. And then the rest of the day, rest of the day should be open-ended for your kids to pursue their own interests and do things that they truly desire. Um, like as the person, them, not me pushing on what I want them to do. The goal is to kind of see what your kids are gravitating towards and what they are really interested in. Also stuff here in, on discipline. It's just kind of refreshing. It's very like matter of fact. And this is um, like observations about different types of schooling and just like it's all very what is like really helping helpful for your children the other one is called thrivers and i'm like a third of the way through this this one is great too just for kids in general homeschool or not um it talks about how the generation 
like that just graduated and in college now they are thrivers or no they are strivers and not thrivers so they their whole life had been pressured by their parents to get to the best college you know take the hardest ap classes and it's all about like achieving achieving and yet once they're at their peak of like education they don't really know how to thrive post education like in the real world and it really talks about like character a lot and how to build you want to build the character of your children more so than academics like push more character traits on them rather than academic things he interviews tons of kids in high school all across the country and it's just so eye-opening and sad to be honest like hearing all these kids talk and they're just saying that they feel empty they feel lost they feel like they don't have any purpose and they feel like they're just a machine that needs to produce for their parents and that their parents don't actually like understand what they want to do it also talks about things like participation trophies and how when that came around everybody gets the same thing it actually hurts our children it doesn't help them and we think we're doing all this to help our children but it's just helicopter parenting and our kids need to breathe they need to experience things on their own to be independent capable people after they're out of school this one is not along the lines of children but another friend gave this same friend <laughs> gave this to me and it's called the book of lymph so this is about the lymphatic system and help like utilizing that to improve different areas of your life so whether that's digestive problems headache anxiety acne inflammation really into gua sha now and facial massage and dry brushing my face and how it's done like crazy things for my skin um my fine lines have gone down a ton my inflammation has gone down around my jaw which used to be super tender and so i just love like facial massage like that but this goes more into depth like your whole body and i really want to get to the part oh here here it talks about like abdominal massage and i wonder if i'm sure it would help with bloating and digestive issues breathing techniques just like great stuff so i'll link all those for you guys judy's eating some nachos i made a big plate for everybody once say what you got mom when i have a fancy one just like violet i i I put it in the and it is in real life. This much in my Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to show you guys our rug that we finally got. I'm just waiting on the rug pad to come. That'll make it a little bit more cushiony. This is from Wayfair or Tossin Main, one of those. And it came gray and we reupholstered it. But we've had this now for a few years. So I feel like it's had a good life with this fabric. So we're gonna actually do a leather. I think we're gonna do vinyl. It's much more affordable. Um, Andrew's mom actually brought some samples over like that. I just don't know if that's too red. So that one is buck, okay? This is option one, buck. Option two is tan. I don't know why that's called tan which is more of a chocolate. I feel like that has a little bit more contrast. Like, like and then this one is called camel, which is what I originally thought I wanted, um, which is lighter. It's so, it, it, I like the texture in that, but is that too similar? But this rug is from, it's an Amber Lewis collection she did and I love all of her stuff. So she, it's from Rugs Direct. And I just think it's so pretty. It's supposed to be like a vintage dyed look. June's building blocks. Violet just woke up. She actually took a nap. You were tired, huh? So I found this table on OfferUp. Then I found another person selling Legos and it was like $10 for a whole bag of Legos. So I bought two bags to add to theirs. Excuse me, I'm looking. Ooh, very nice. I made it on my phone. So now we have this cool little Lego table out here. I was oh, gonna cool. put like the big sheets down. This is what I made. Oh, wow. Let's look at, oh my, my. I haven't even seen all of this yet. In my house. Okay. Explain it to me. Uh, this, these are bottles and this is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And that's the light. And this is soap and this is these things. Oh. And, and, and this is money and, and this gown that we pull on. Mm -hmm. And this is cups. Mm -hmm. And this is the table and that's the light and these are chocolate bars.
So I ran out of butter recently and I wanted to make cookies the other day. And so I was looking online for butterless cookies so a lot were vegan. And I came across a vegan cookie recipe and I used avocado oil because we're also out of coconut oil and they were amazing. So we just made them again and I doubled the recipe. I'm gonna put it in the description box for you guys uh, because they're so good. No, hot good. What? They smell hot good. They smell hot good? Yeah, they smell hot good. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna get this one and this big one. They I'm gonna get so that good. one and I can get this Let big one. Let him pull down. I'm gonna get that one and this one. Mm. I'm gonna get that one. Okay, why don't you each one. get a plate? Oh, I'll get the chocolate chip one and this cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody get a plate or a no, bowl. And you can grab your cookies. This one. Okay, good job, bud. And I'm gonna get this one. You can pick two. I'm gonna get this one. Okay. I can't make with this one. Oh! Alright, go sit down with them. Wait, so Kyla doesn't get them. Can okay? you tell the mom everything too please for me? How does it taste? Good. Good. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. We have to go pick up Andrew. He has his car getting something done to it so he has no car right now so we're gonna go pick him up and then i have to go take photos for a brand so we're gonna go do that while i have him to be my photographer and don't use a tripod that's why i changed and put a little more makeup on so yeah that is gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog this is today's vlog huh today's vlog so funny they're picking up on things that i say Today's what? Today's vlog. They go, no mom, it's today's vlog. That's what I said. Hi, 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 hi it's today's vlog. What's up, mom? Okay, Scooty's gonna Say bye. Bye.